it's Kelly, and I know the title of this video is um, a scrapbook.com haul, but I have to show you something first. I made my very first mug with my Cricut, so yay! Um, I'm planning on doing a couple of these for friends for Christmas, just some really good friends, and um, so I tried one out tonight just to see how it worked, and it went easier than I thought it was going to. This one's not quite centered here did a better job on this side but anyway really I'm really super happy with it and really excited and for those of you who are wondering this is a, a silhouette cut file so but anyway not too bad considering it was my first mug now I'm you know I'll out myself and say it took an hour and a half which I don't anticipate in the future and part of that was as I was having a problem with doing the two colors um, and I know how to do it but anyway worked okay in the end so there we go yay if you know me you know I like wine so anyway um, so I have a haul here and it is from scrapbook.com and if you have watched my channel at all recently I'm starting you'll you're starting to hear that I have um, done a spending freeze for I'm gonna try to do it for a year but we'll see how that goes I can buy things like cardstock and albums and album inserts and pens those things that are um, things that I need to have for scrapbooking and I'm talking about like my black pens and that kind of stuff I'm not buying new colored pens and that kind of stuff but the so I can buy that stuff on a regular basis I can buy black white and um, navy and craft cardstock if I use that up although I'm trying not to do as much of that either just because I'd really like to be able to make myself stretch and use other things instead of that although you know me I don't use it all that often but anyway so the only other time I get well there's two other times that I can purchase things one of them is if I get a YouTube payment and that doesn't happen that often you guys it's about for me it's probably about three or four times a year and trust me it's like um, you know maybe it would cover my month of scrapbooking but you know it is nice and I put that right back into scrapbooking supplies the other time is this if I get a gift or a gift certificate and that's what sponsored this one um, that and I put just a little bit of money that I had left I had before I froze I gotten a YouTube payment and I did buy a couple of things but I had about $30 left so I did put about $20 towards this package as well and combined um, a gift so Rhonda Morrow here is your um, the gift certificate that you sent me from scrapbook.com and thank you sweet friend uh, Rhonda and I were talking because I had said to her I had just been looking at my fall and winter and um, Halloween stash and I didn't have very much paper left in any of them now certainly could I have made it work with other things absolutely I could have combined oranges and purples and green papers to do Halloween layouts no problem but I also do like to have a little bit of theme product in that when I'm scrapbooking those kinds of things and I have some really awesome um, Halloween photos to scrapbook I have some really awesome uh, fall photos to scrapbook which I have scrapbooked a number of them already but now I have some new product to do it and then the other thing that I was looking ahead I am really I don't have a lot of winter theme papers and I love Echo Park's winter collection so there it is yay anyway so thanks so much Rhonda here is my um, purchase and I did purchase some Halloween and not any fall though I um, didn't find a collection for fall that I loved and I do have some fall left so I just decided to wait on it until I really really loved a collection if I found a collection I really really love so I'm that's one other thing I'm just not trying to buy it because I think I would like it I really have to fall in love with it so here we go uh, the first paper here is Doodlebug Pumpkin Party, and I did buy multiples of some of these, so it's this awesome dot, and some of these are older collections, like this is a 2018 collection, which was fine with me. Um, I bought some of these on sale as well, so there's that, and then there's this darling um, border 
border strip piece, but I really bought it for that side. So that is Pumpkin Party, and that is the Halloween Ball paper. Then this is Doodlebug Candy Carnival, and it has a lot of pumpkins on it on this side. And the paper here is Carving Contest. So the Carving Contest paper from Candy Carnival. So that's A side. And there's B side. Oh, look at that. How funny. This is border paper as well. So as you can see, I'm not worrying about which collection, but, you know, I love manufacturers who do this. I can work these two together with absolutely no problem from year to year. Okay. Next one is Doodlebug as well from Booze and Brews. And here, I'll show you. Awesome, look at that. Three years, three. So that Candy Carnival was, I think that was this year's. Yes, Candy Carnival is this year's. So Pumpkin Party is 2018. Um, Candy Carnival is 2019. And this is Booze and Brews. This is actually 2016, you guys. But it still all works together because manufacturers really try to stay in their same color lane now, which I love. So Booze and Brews, and this is the um, cut apart sheet, which is called Trick or Treat Stripe, which gives you an idea of why I bought it. I actually bought it for that side, and look at this. That matches exactly right to this, and this is two years later. So isn't that awesome? So Booze and Brews. This is also Booze and Brews. This is the Matt, uh, yeah, Matter Splatter. I did buy it for the stars. I thought that was really cute. And then there's the splatter. But definitely that's the side that I wanted to use, and I meant to bring these up to you. All right, this is also Booze and Brews. So they had quite a bit of this 2016 left, and I did buy three sheets of this. This is Booze and Brews, and it's the Weird Science paper. Awesome plaid there. And this will be great, like for backgrounds, or if I'm doing a double page layout, which I often do with Halloween because there's so many photos, and I know I need to do it with this year's Halloween photos of my grandkids because I was scrap. Uh, I was scrapbooking with them. I was trick-or-treating with them, so I took a bazillion pictures. Anyway, booze and brews, weird science, and then there's the background for it, but I really bought it, obviously, for that. Okay, so I was telling you about winter. As I was looking for winter collections, I found this, coll found this collection I liked. My goodness, talking is hard tonight. This is Echo Park Hello Winter, um, and I thought this was actually blue it's actually black so not loving that as much I thought it was like a navy it's not it's all black so if you're looking at hello winter know that it's black it's not navy because I thought it was going to work really well with the other collection I bought not that this isn't going to work just fine and I'll show you why so this is echo park hello winter there's that side this is the Frosty Night Paper. Obviously, I can use this very easily with this diagonal stripe, and I love diagonal stripes, so that will work great. This is Echo Park Hello Winter. I'm going to flip these around so that I can tell you what the paper name is right away. So this awesome stripe here. This is the Chilled Stripes Paper. And there's the other side, and again, really a black, not a navy. This is a 2015 collection, guys. Wow. I think I understand why, because it's black, not navy. Now, this paper actually looks navy. It's not black. This piece is navy. This is the Hello Winter Arctic Plaid. So this is actually the B side. There's the A side for you. And that is a great plaid. And these all be able to work really well with winter, icy winter things. This is a sweet, cute paper. It is not the side I bought it for, but isn't that darling? That whole, like, winter scene. And, you know, I say that sometimes, and then I end up using that side, but that is not my intention. This is the Frigid Blitter Blizzard paper from Hello Winter. This is the side I actually bought it for. I love those snowflakes. They're just, it's a beautiful pattern. Um, Echo Park collections often have a snowflake pattern. Uh, 
similar-ish to that, some sort of take on that. Kind of a thing with the swirls and that kind of thing. They don't always, but that is sometimes they do. Obviously, sometimes they do. Oh my goodness, guys. All right. This is Hello Winter. This is the journaling cards paper. I did buy it for this side. Look at all those darling little snowflakes. And uh, you guys, I live in southeastern Wisconsin. I am videoing this on November 8th. Since Halloween week, on the Tuesday before Halloween, I have had 11 and a half inches of snow at my house. You guys, we have, sometimes we'll get snow in October, but it's really flurries or a dusting. Our first snowstorm at my, my house, really literally the first snow we saw, we had three inches of snow. So in two weeks, we've had 11 and a half inches of snow, and I don't even know what to do with myself. I mean, I'm I'm born and raised in Wisconsin, but this is crazy. It's so early, and it's cold, and it's going to be really cold next week. So if you don't live in a northern climate, be happy. I don't like how long winter is, and this year it's going to be really long. We didn't have fall. So anyway, back to... Um, me not complaining about our weather here. This is the Hello Winter and here's the journaling cards. Isn't that cool? I kind of like this um, photo reel card there. I will never outgrow the excitement of looking out my window and seeing falling snow. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that on October 29th, I was not excited to see the falling snow. As a matter of fact, um, I did a bitmoji along that theme that day. Anyway, all right there. So that's the side. You're getting all sorts of good stuff with this one, aren't you? This is the Hello Winter Winter Snowfall paper. It's got a really nice polka dot here. So if you're looking for a gray polka dot, this is an awesome polka dot. And again, this is scrapbook.com. This is the side I actually bought it for, which is all the snowflakes, though. Okay, so then I bought that, but I did buy a collection pack as well. And... Sorry if you hate hearing these things open. This is the Celebrate Winter Collection by Lori Whitlock. I love her. That other collection was not Lori Whitlock, but I pretty much love anything she does for Echo Park. So that gives you a preview of it. Um, sometimes they'll print on the back, but they did not with this. So I'll just pull it aside. The first thing I'm going to do is here is the, in these collection packs, you get a sticker sheet. So, isn't that darling? So cute. And then here's the paper here. This is called, again, Celebrate Winter. And I'm going to turn it again for you. This is the 4x4 four four journaling cards. This great snowflake pattern on the back. And then there's the journaling cards. And it's nice that they're 4x4. Four four. Those are easy for me to use. This is the 4x6 journaling card paper, but a beautiful aqua all-over pattern here. And then there's the 4x6 journaling cards. And they they call it journaling cards, but you there's not a lot of room on many of these to journal with. And I really wish that Echo Park would leave more space because on that 4x4, out of all of these, only one of these can you journal on. And you all know that I like to use um, journaling cards. Well, you all know. If you watch my channel, you know that I do like to use journaling cards to journal. Okay, so that's that. This is the 3 by 4 journaling cards. And remember I told you they do some variation on a swirl and snowflake. This is the one in um, the Hello Winter collection. And that is, um, I was going to say, yeah, this is actually, it says it's 2018. So this might be last year's collection, and I didn't realize it, but that's okay because it's beautiful, and I love it. So there's that pattern, and then there's the 3 by 4 journaling cards. And again, look at all those journaling cards, and there's one actual journaling card. So I do love Echo Park, but that is one little thing that, for me, I don't love because I don't do pocket scrapbooking, so a lot of times these pieces I can't use. Now, that is very useful, so that's fine, and I have a bazillion journaling cards from other manufacturers so that's no big deal this is the celebrate winter magical winter paper and there's a really nice tree print on that and then these cute little penguins there so that's cute this um, collection does come with 12 uh, 12 
12 12 by 12 double-sided papers and an element sticker sheet so you know that this is the winter wonderland paper great red and then there's a little snowflake pattern on the back of these so obviously if you're in winter and you don't have snow this would not be a great collection for you which if you don't have snow that would for winter that would be a pet peeve of mine if I were you all right so well, well oh my goodness okay so we're talking about pet peeves today nice I'm really positive normally so anyway um celebrate winter snowflake kisses this is the um, aqua plaid here. I love this plaid. I don't know that I really spotted that so much in the like list of the papers, but oh my gosh, that is beautiful. And then there is the navy snowflake with some aqua snowflakes on it. This is the cozy mittens paper and it's like a little linen or burlap texture and it's a cream color it's probably hard for you to pick up that that's creamy but it is kind of a cool background paper actually and then this darling mitten paper I love it when they do mitten papers which they often do add little mittens and things like that and there's probably mittens I didn't look but oftentimes they do mittens on the um, on the sticker sheet I'll have to take a look at that. Let me look and see. Eh, no mittens on this one. But they do oftentimes have mittens on sticker sheets. So anyway, that's a darling paper. Here's another great plaid. This is the Oh What Fun plaid. And this is a blue plaid. Not quite navy, but kind of in that family. Really nice usable plaid. And then this is an all-over pattern with these little polar bears and I think rabbits, birds. Kind of a fun one. I will probably use that side though. This is the stripe. This is the build a snowman paper and oh my gosh that's an awesome stripe. And then on that side there's the snowmen. And we certainly have enough snow to build snowmen already. Lots of good packing snow. All right this is the winter blizzard paper but beautiful red kind of um, sketched out almost sort of Scandinavian looking trees to me but great beautiful red color and then this um, sort of tan khaki colored snowflake here I do love Echo Park's reds in their winter collections it's one of the reasons that I often buy Echo Park for winter is because I love the combinations of the red the navy blues and then the aqua they've been doing those for a couple of years this is the sweater weather paper and it's kind of a cute little kind of fur um, bow there or branch and then just kind of like a red dot and then on the back again another awesome plaid lots of great plaids to use in this collection and then last but not least I love this paper it reminds me very much of a October afternoon paper from Silent Night that is um, is probably one of my favorite papers that was this color with little dots that looked like um, tiny little circular snowflakes. They didn't have the kind of asterisk look to them, but I love that paper. So this is the winter season paper from Celebrate Winter. As a matter of fact, if I wasn't on a spending freeze, I would be tempted to get more, but I am not going to do that because I'm on a spending freeze and I have spent what I'm spending so celebrate winter winter season and on the back are all of these like words um, and the snowflakes and icons and that kind of thing so it's cute it is cute but I will probably be using the this side just because I love that side so much all right so that is the celebrate winter collection oh my gosh it is so awesome it's as as good as I expected it to be so then because I bought that I did also buy some of the um, embellishments here so I have the sticker sheet in the collection and then I bought the chipboard accents here with a lot of the little icons here which will be really cute like when my grandkids are in the snow and that kind of stuff so I think this will be really cute and I think this is yeah this is single sided I can you know tip it that way for you but cute and then I have the um, ephemera pack they often have a tag pack too I don't know if they do with this collection but I did get the ephemera pack 
and I'm not going to open this all up. If you have a specific question, I'll be happy to answer that. But their ephemera and tag packs tend to be pretty large. Like, you know, there's my hand. And there's a frame here that ends up in here. So it's probably mm, four or five inches tall. So their, their ephemera packs are pretty big. So just know that if you're looking at doing some of these kinds of things. That's why I like to get the sticker sheets and the chipboard because those work really well together. Okay, so that is um, the Echo Park papers. That's all the papers I bought. Then I bought something that's kind of boring but really awesome. So this is the scrapbook.com um, uh, quick dry writer. So this is the slick writer from them and I love these even more than I love um, the slick writers from American Crafts by far. I think these just last better. And so my other one was kind of going, my other scrapbook.com one that I have is almost out. And so I, since I was placing an order and I knew I needed a new one. So it's good. This is one of those things that I would buy even if I wasn't on a spending freeze because I use these all the time. Um, it's how I date the back of my photos, you guys, if you watch me, but it's also how I do slick writing on surfaces as well. So this is one of those things I could buy. So scrapbook.com, um, quick dry ink for slick surfaces, slick, slick writer. The other thing I bought was I bought this distress oxide, um, ink and twisted citron. And uh, this is the first distress oxide I've owned. I know there's lots of cool things about it, about, you know, being able to, react with water and that kind of stuff which is cool but I bought it because of the color I don't have this color and I've been running into things where I'm stamping on cards where I need this color and you don't see my card processes because really they're boring you know they're quick and not that big of a deal but um anyway so that's why I bought this is because I really I'm missing this color in my assortment whoops sorry guys that's that I also got these Doodabug Sprinkles, the Tangerine Assortment. These are just the regular enamel dots. And that's because I was out of orange. And there's a couple like, this is orange. This is a little bit more peachy orange, but still orange. And that's orange, but it's really a yellowy color as well, like more of a warm. But that's okay. I, I, I knew I was going to be scrapbooking some uh, Halloween stuff, and I would used up my orange enamel dots. Well, most of them anyway. And then last but not least, I got some thickers. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> so um, this green especially was important because as I was going through and pulling my product for my December daily project, and I do have a, I do have a video up that's called December Daily Prep. Um, and I show you what I'm going to be using. I was sadly lacking in green, and this is a gorgeous foresty Christmassy green. Pro it's really hard to see this on camera, but I don't know that I would use this at many other times of year because it's it's pretty dark, and it's a combination bef between forest and my favorite green, Kelly Green. R. Um, but it, I don't know that I would use that a lot because I don't think this appears very much in scrapbooking things, but it's a great Christmas green. So this are, these are the Creek Thickers, in, um, and they're the ones where they're foam. I don't know if, can you see that? Where they're foam, but they have like the little bit of chipboard on the top. This is from the One Canoe 2, um... Hang on a second, guys. I think I, I yeah, I've got my scrapbook.com order here. It is One Canoe Two Willow. That's where you can find these. One Canoe Two Willow collection. So that's those. And then these are the American Craft stickers. And these are foam again as well, too, but they're glitter. So where this before in past years probably would have been um, chipboard glitter. It's actually foam with glitter because I think they found that obviously they stick better and they figured that process out. So these are the Celebrating Freedom thickers. And no color on here. Let me see if I can tell you what, what collection they came from. 
Um, oh, they're from Bow Bunny Celebrating Freedom. So if you are looking for these on Scrapbook Down Cabin, you'll probably find it within the collection. So One Canoe 2, Willow, Bow Bunny Celebrating Freedom. And these will go into my stashes, my stash for my December daily. I was out of a lot of, like, I didn't have this size red. I use red a ton in scrapbooking, so I'll use it for more than Christmas. But this will be a great addition. So guys, that is my haul from scrapbook.com. Thanks so much, Rhonda. I'm going to have fun doing um, using these products. You'll probably see the videos for the Halloween stuff coming in like February, maybe even. I'm pretty far out right now for videos because I'm getting ready in less than a month to start December daily and I need to have stuff ready for you guys to go on um, Tuesdays and Saturdays before that so but you'll see me use some of these and I'll try to remember to mention it um, when I use it where I got those things so if you have any questions please let me know and I'll be back with another layout again soon bye guys mm -hmm.